Hey guys, I am uh, just going to make a very quick video about this Android rugged phone that I've set up to replace um, basically all of my other GPSs. Uh, I used to run a Garmin Zumo XT kind of as a backup to my phone that I preferred to use because I just like the speed and the accessibility of a phone, but I also didn't want to destroy my daily driver phone on the bike. So uh, I went ahead and got rid of the Zumo XT and purchased one of these um, Chinese, for lack of a better word, no-name brand phones. Uh, this one is, uh, I bought on eBay, it was $249. Uh, it's actually built exceptionally well. Uh, it's ruggedized, so it means that you don't need a case for it. It's waterproof. It's vibration proof. It works with gloves on. Um, so all of the different things that you'd look for in a dedicated GPS with the advantage of the fact that uh, it's a lot faster and you can run whatever GPS software that you want. And with Android, just like, just like Apple, there's a bunch of different ones, but uh, I prefer to use Gaia. Uh, I also like to use Avenza. Um, I use Osmand. It really depends on what kind of riding and where I'm going, but it's beautiful to have the versatility of a few different apps. So um, let me kind of just show you how this phone works. It's no different than any other cell phone that you would use. I'm an Android guy and uh, Androids are quite a bit more versatile than, than, than the iOS is, um, but the application is going to be the same. And basically, uh, this is my 790. Um, I, uh, I have a, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can get around here. I have one of those Vinash aluminum mounts here uh, that I 3D printed then an adapter mount that goes to this really nice uh, RAM mount. That, that holds the phone in with these kind of these these claws on the on the top and the and the sides um, and then I have a power cord that goes into my USB that I actually routed back through the kind of bike just to hide the cord comes up through the Vinash and then plugs into the uh, the phone but this phone has a gigantic battery in it and I haven't charged it in a week it's been sitting in my garage I haven't used haven't used it but it's still at like, I don't know, like 80% or something like that. I did top it off uh, before, but um, I have it basically wired in to the bike. So when I turn the ignition on, the phone starts. So one of the cool things with Android that you can do is you can download custom launchers. So I downloaded a custom launcher that took, I don't need all the other Android stuff. I want to have quick access buttons to the apps that I'm only going to use when I'm riding the bike. So I have my battery indicator here. I have a clock. I have a compass. And then my main panel is Osmand, Gaia, Avenza, and then even Google Maps that I can run in offline mode. And then I have uh, just quick access to some file manager things and, and things like that. And then, of course, if I want to see all the other apps, I can just go here and it'll open up all the other apps that happen to be on the phone. Um, I don't have service on this phone, a cell service. It's a, dumb, it's a dumb phone. So right now I'm in my garage, I'm connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, I did go on eBay and I bought a prepaid SIM card. I think it was like $30 that, and it lasts for a year. And I get, I think like a gigabyte of data a month uh, per, you know, for, for 12 months for 30 bucks. So if I'm ever someplace where I don't feel like firing up my phone that does have a data plan on it and I want to download something or sync something, I can just turn mobile data on and I'm good to go. Uh, you cannot do that with a Garmin GPS. So if I'm going on a ride, uh, again, this works with gloves on. It works while the screen is wet. It's really, it's really good and I can't say enough about how high quality the build on this phone is. It's, it's amazing. It kind of makes me upset that I have a flagship Samsung phone is my daily driver that's quite honestly not built as well as this and it was only 250 bucks. But anyway, so if I go into Gaia, uh, 
you know, I'm not going to give you a lesson in, in, in how Gaia works. That's totally different, but I can just pull up, uh, you know, my folders here and let's find something local. I'll pull up, uh, I don't know, let's pull up uh, anything. There you go. Helen and Trey Mountain. I pull that up. And then I can basically see what it is. I can turn it on. So when I go to the map, it's going to give me a route and turn by turn directions, blah, 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 blah. Again, I'm not going to give you a lesson in, in how to use Gaia, but it's pretty freaking cool. Um, I've got pinch to zoom. It's very fast. It, this is faster screen response than um, my Zumo XT. And the benefit of being able to run whatever maps you want on it is with Gaia, you can do several maps at one time layered on top of one another. So in this case, um, zooming in, I mean, this is pretty damn cool. I have three maps here. I have the base Gaia map. I have these white dotted lines are the MVUM maps. That's also overlaid onto the National Geographic map. Um, the National Geographic Trails maps, which are really good, which gives you all of the camping sites, recreation, the road names. So I'm basically looking at three maps at the same time, all overlaid, and you cannot do this on a Garmin. Uh, it's, it's awesome. You can change the transparency so you see more, more, than, uh, more detail in one map than another, but it, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, and I am totally blown away by how good this device works um, and, and how, how much easier it is to use. Like for instance, if I'm just riding home and I know where I am, I can just pull up, you know, the good old fashioned kind of speedometer panel here, bam, there's a million of these you can download on Android, they're all free. And uh, you go back home and there you have it, but very clean interface, uh, very simple. I'm a little technically savvy, but this is nothing that, you know, anyone couldn't do if they wanted to, but I just wanted to kind of go over what this looks like and how it works because I posted something on GS Giants about it and uh, people were pretty interested. So anyway, that is my, uh, oh, and I forgot, I think I forgot to say, it's uh, the name of this is uh, the phone, it's got a funny name, it's a, I think it's a Yumi Digi is the brand and it's called the Bison GT, rugged phone is what it's called. 249. Can't beat it. See ya.